Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This week I'm going to show you what I've been doing to get the girls ready for ground driving. <clears throat> How I've been introducing the bridle and the bit to them. Grace over here has been doing great. She accepts it with not a whole lot of issues at all. Jean, on the other hand, can have a turd attitude and doesn't like putting it the bit in her mouth she doesn't mind putting the halter on at all but she doesn't like the bit going in her mouth she doesn't like wormer going in her mouth she doesn't really like anything around her mouth so when i have her in here and i try to put it on she's you know sways her head back and forth and i can't get it on so i end up having to put her on the wash rack to do it where and where she's in cross ties i can get it on her a lot easier but what i've been doing is putting these on over their halters and then just letting them walk around with them on for about an hour. The harnesses, when I put the harnesses on, I just harness them right here, as you've seen in previous videos. They don't have a problem with that at all. They'll just stand there pretty much, you know, just like they are right now while I'm putting them on. And typically what I'll do when I harness them, I just leave them standing in their tie stalls with their harnesses on. Because if you put their harnesses on and put them out into the barnyard or out into the pasture, then they'll invariably want to roll with their harnesses on. They can get tangled up and it can get pretty ugly. So try not to do that. When I put their bridles on and have the bits in their mouth, they'll still roll, but it hadn't been an issue thus far. But if you remember from last week's video, we were starting to hay and we finished the hay and this is what we got. Ended up with 36 bales total and the relationship that I've got with the farmer the way it works is, is he provides all the equipment and all the labor and everything I provide the field and at the end of it he gets 50% of the product and I get 50% of the product so we end up getting 18 bales each and 18 bales for me was overkill because I, I'm not gonna these girls aren't gonna eat 18 bales so I would end up wasting it so I just took 15 bales and then he's he will take 21. So it works out good. He just comes and does it all. And then when he's done, I just go out there and pick up mine and put it up in my pole barn. I've already got 15 bales stacked up and on a tarp underneath the pole barn. Got 21 yet to get out of the field. Also, in last week's video, I talked about possibly picking up a new mare out of Ohio to be Jules' mate for driving. And I've been able to talk to the Amish guy more, and we've been able to iron out the details. So I will, in fact, be going to get Becky, the 14-year-old Black Percheron mare. It will be probably mid-August, and I will have to drive back at night so that the sun's not beating down on the trailer. So I'll drive up there during the day, spend the night, run errands the next morning, 
and then bed down for about half a day and then head out in the evening and just drive through the night. And I, I think it'll work out. It will be exactly two years. August the 15th is when I went and picked these girls up two years ago. And two years later, I'll be picking up a mate for Jewel. So these girls made it home in mid-July. So Becky will be able to make it home in mid-July as well. So that'll be some neat video coming up with her and actually driving. We'll get the blue wagon out for the first time and actually be able to drive it with the team. If you don't remember that blue wagon video, I'll link it to the end of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Jean's bridle on with her standing right here. Probably not going to be able to get it at a good video angle because Jean's over there. And then what I'll do is I'll take Jean and put her on the wash rack and get hers on. And then I'll just turn them out in the barnyard and let them walk around, you know, for 30 minutes or so grazing. Grace? Good girl. Good girl. Can you hold that bit? Good girl. There we go. Good girl. Okay, back, 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 back. There you go. Good girl. She's holding that bit. Excellent. Got it in the corner of her mouth with one roll there. I need the assistance of a stool with her because she gets her head so high. It's all right, open. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Your sister's gonna help you. Is your sister gonna help you? Mm -hmm. Jean still chews with it a little bit. She's just not used to having it in her mouth. Her learning curve is just a little bit steeper than her sister's. But as she chews it and plays with it, she'll, she'll learn to park it and hold it. Oh my goodness. Where's your sister? She's over here trying to find grain. standing back here I have put the bridles on the girls they have their halters on underneath them and then they have their bridles on with their bits in and they I want to show you how comfortable they are with them on that's they're not fighting them they're not trying to get them off they're actually grazing with them on 
We've had them on for about an hour. I just wanted you to see the progress of them with their bridles on. If I go up to them, then they will approach me and come see what I'm doing. But I just wanted you to see how natural they looked with their bridles on. All right, so that worked out excellent. They're just all over there eating in the barnyard on this fresh grass over here. They're enjoying it. And I'll run them back over into the main paddock here and shortly. But when you put those bridles on them like that, you do not want to leave them unattended because they will scrape and rub and do everything they can to, to get those things off. And they can get them hung on anything. And if they don't break, then, you know, they're going to be sitting there fighting and they can get injured. So if you're going to ever have a, a halter or a bridle on them, you want to do it with caution. So I had both of them on, so I didn't let them get out of my sight. So. They did real well. Like I said, we'll be picking up Becky pretty soon. The problem with ground driving thus far is that, and I haven't showed you, is the girls are connected at the hip. They do not like to be apart. And when I hook them to Jewel, or hook one of them to Jewel, the other one doesn't understand and wants to be right there with you. And it is very, very hard to do anything with having two horses hooked up and the other horse is free. And if you lock the other horse up, she just goes crazy and kicks and yells and does all kinds of stuff. So it just, it's, it's chaotic at best. So when Becky comes, I will be able to leave one of the juveniles with a senior horse while the other juvenile is training with the other senior horse. So that will work out a lot better. Grace has gotten to the point where she's becoming independent. Jewel is extremely independent. She'll be in a totally different paddock, but the babies will be side by side. But I have noticed in the past few days that when I've come in in the morning or come in in the evening, Jean, I'm sorry, Grace will be in a totally different paddock all by herself. And Jean and Jewel will be together. So Grace is getting a little bit of independence and starting to venture out on her own so i think since she's a little bit more calmer and a little bit more independent i think what i'll do is focus training her first on the driving side of it and then just let Jean watch from a distance and then Jean can join in so in the next couple of weeks becky will be here so i appreciate you watching as always remember who you are be kind to those around you stand up for what you believe in